hindi to katulad ng mga Pilipino na 14 pa lang eh pinaglalaplapan niyo na sa video. Ay okay, pinaglalaplapan niyo na sa harapan ng camera. All right. Guys, uh, welcome na naman sa another episode ng ano ah, Tito Rant. Tito. Uh, Ayoko na sana gumawa ng video kasi kakagawa ko lang kanina Pero nabasa ko tong tweet ni Eric Mati So gusto ko mag-comment agad eh Gusto ko agad mag-react Being uh, a little bit fan of K-drama no? So papakita ko sa inyo ha Sabay tayo mag-react Eric Mati, ang well-known na director natin ng mga pelikulang Pilipino no? Such as uh, Kubot, uh, Rigodon, Tik-Tik, Quaresma, and etc. So nag-tweet siya, ito Kamakailan lang, ang sabi niya, The daily top 10 most viewed on Netflix shows us how our movies and TV are doomed in the future. K-drama galore. For Cinderella, Cinderella story with Bel- Belofide. <laughs> with Belofide, my God, this is so Filipino. With Belofide actors, whiter than white. And it's all about love in the midst of this pandemic. Oh, man. This is surprising, all right? Coming from a director. Uh, I would have expected na matalino to, mas broader yung knowledge niya and yung understanding niya for film and, and acting in general kasi director nga siya, no? Pero dito sa post mo, uh, Sir Eric Mati, Sobrang ano eh, typical cancer. Alright? Typical cancer ng, ng Pilipino to. Sakit to ng Pilipino eh. Nilait yung itsura. Bellified actor whiter than white. My gosh! Come on, Pilipino! Ano ba to? Bitter ba tayo? Dahil makinis yung mga Koreana at yung itsura nyo, sir. Eh, wala din. Parang sa akin lang. Huwag <laughs> naman ganun, di ba? Matuwa nga tayo, napakagaganda ng mga pinapanood natin kaysa naman bigyan tayo na mo mukhang kanal, di ba? So, hindi mo masisisi yung mga k-drama na tatangklikin sila ng mga Pilipino kasi maliban sa mga gandang itsura nila, eh napakagaganda naman talaga ng mga istorya. Si Eric Mati, makinig ka. Alam mo kung bakit tinatangkilit ng mga Pilipino ang k-drama, right? Unang-una hindi ito clickbait kasi. Yung, yung mga Pilipino kasi movie clickbait, yung mga title mo... Rigodon, Kubo, Tik-Tik, Gagamboy, Diyos Mio. Alam mo yung k-drama, uh, sir, eh, nakafocus to talaga sa istorya. Alright? Ang mga title nito is about story eh. Kung anong nangyari sa si story, anong you know, love story. And yung sinasabi nyo, sir, na ano, yung nasuso ka eh. Pinapakita na parang uh, nadidistra dito na it's all about love in the midst of pandemic. Yun ang halang ang papanoorin natin sa television. Di ba kaya nga tayo may television at mga pantaserye o kung ano man pinapanood sa TV para naman ma- ma- magkaroon tayo ng outlet, alright? Yung mga bagay na hindi natin magawa, eh, ma- maibigay man naman sa atin ng television. Anong gusto mong panoorin namin? Mga bad movies pa, mga nakakatakot o mga nakakasira pa ng moral ngayon na nakakulong na nga tayo sa bahay, di ba? Natural may intent, syempre, papanoorin ng mga tao yung ma- mag-feel good sila. Right? Yung iiyak sila, magbabanding sila with family, with loved ones. What's wrong with that? Right? There's nothing wrong with that, but there's something wrong with your statement here. It's just so cancer, right? Philippine... Sobra, sobra to. Um, I don't know kung intentionally niyang pinos to para, para mag-trend at pag-usapan and maybe people will be curious enough to, to, to check what movies you actually have done and then panoorin yon and you know, desperate move na may, may, may manood ng mga movie. Pero, come on, Eric Mati, uh, change is the only constant thing in the world. All right? And right now, na internet, things are being really uh, so prevalent na lahat is internet na, don't expect na tatangkilikin pa ng mga Pilipino at mga masa. Ang mga palabas sa television na, wa- no offense, pero wala naman talagang kakwenta-kwenta. Alright? Okay. Check natin mga movie mo, Aquaresma. Okay, sige, maganda. Gagamboy. Okay, Seclusion. Sige, maganda. Rigodon. Darna. I mean, 
this is not 90s or 80s, alright? Ang mga tao ngayon, ang mga millennials ngayon is may internet na, alright? Marami na nakikitang ibang palabas. Now, yung panahon natin dati, eh wala. Makikinig lang tayo sa radyo, manonood lang tayo ng mga walang kwentang movie na wala tayong no choice. Pero ngayon, eh andyan na internet, alright? Out of, it's, it's on our reach na. Unlike before, that it's out of our reach. Isang click mo lang dyan, eh may palabas ako sa Netflix na napakadaming options. Yang top 10 ng Netflix ay eh, nagbabago-bago po yan depende sa mood ng mga tao. Alright? Huwag mong sisisihin yung yung Korean novela na top 1. Top 1 is Prison Break eh. I think eh, yung top, top 1, 2, 3 yan. Mga ganyan. Prison Break, Money Heist, uh, High Bye Mama. Paiba-iba yan eh. Prison Break is very old. Alright? Luma na yan. Pero dahil pinag-uusapan yung Money Heist at marami tayong millennial na hindi napanood yung dati, they actually had the chance to watch it right now and they're really enjoying it. And what's wrong with that? Alam mo, sir, kung bakit maganda o bakit na natangkilik ng mga tao, mga Pilipino, ang K-drama, bibigyan ka ng, ng, ng magandang idea, no? Hindi lang to about bellified actors, whiter than white, that is just so ridiculous. Uh, we know it's true, they're pretty, but calling that out like that's just so so low you know so it's like an uneducated bullying i don't know it's 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 like bitching but um it's like racism you know in in a different way but alam mo kung bakit tinatangkilik ng mga tao to biyata ng tipa maganda kasi story ng mga k-drama all right yun lang yun eh maganda story to be honest, kahit anong ganda ng mga itsura nito, kahit anong puti ng mga k-drama na to, pag yung istorya nila walang kwenta, hindi namin papanoorin yan. Alright? Hindi namin papanoorin ng masa. Pero sabihin ko sa'yo, sobrang ganda ng mga istorya ng mga k-drama. Kaya yung mga tao na uhook, magaling yung pacing nila, magaling yung cinematography nila, yung mga slow motion shots nila, at yung mga, uh, you know, coming soon, or abangan sa mga susunod na episode nila, is magaling. Right? Very, very smart and very, very engaging na hindi mo yung makukuha sa mga pelikulang Pilipino. Number one pa, K-dramas, if you will probably watch some, kung hindi pa, is very conservative. Alright? Matatanda na yung mga love story dito. Alright? They're probably under 30s, even 40s and such. Hindi to katulad ng mga Pilipino na 14 pa lang eh pinaglalaplapan nyo na sa video. Right? Pinaglalaplapan nyo na sa harapan ng camera. K-drama is very conservative and, and, and very um, patwitams or not not really patwitams. is very old school. Alright? It's family oriented. For example, kung napanood nyo yung Hi Bye Mama eh, number one ngayon o kamakailan sa Netflix. Ano to? Sasabihan mo ko na walang kwenta yung Hi Bye Mama at panoorin ko lang gagamboy. Diyos me yun naman. Diyos me yun. Ni sa isang piraso, walang binatbat yung mga nagawa mong movie sa istorya at sa acting at sa plot na ginagawa ng mga palabas katod ng Hi Bye Mama. They're talking about, you know, this, this K-drama, they're tackling a lot of things. Alright? Hindi to very shallow like Philippine movies or uh, series na walang ginawa kundi galitan, awayan na nakuha natin sa Spanish or sa mga telenovela. Na puro sabunutan, puro third party, puro, you know, mag aaway away may kabit, may asawa, agaw, may asawa, sarayo may pamilya, ako yung tunay na asawa, galit na asawa. Hindi nyo mo na-realize, ganun lahat yung palabas sa Pilipino eh. And then you expect us Filipin Filipinos to still, ano, manood ng mga yun, tangklikan yung mga yun. What, what do you think of us, stupid? Siyempre <laughs> hindi, mag-iisip din kami at mag-explore kami na mas mga ganda. Yung mga drama Tate. They don't even fight as much as we fight on our shows. Kaya parang babae yung hi bye mama. Second wife na to ah, second wife na to ng first wife pero ano, para sila mag best friend doon. It's it's just gonna make you cry. All right? It's just gonna touch your heart and make you contemplate on things, on family, on lives, on your parents, on your children, on your on your partners, on your friends, and everything. That's that's why K-dramas are really, really good. Okay? Hindi to about simpleng love story na sinasabi mo dito na it's all about love. No, 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 no. No, no, you're wrong. That's probably the shallow thing, you know, kung titignan mo lang siya ngayon, hindi mo panoorin. Pero pag napanood mo yan, ma-realize mo na very, very deep pala mga K-drama. 
they always have friends. They para silang anime, alam mo yun, yung mga hardcore sila sa friendship and all that uh, stuff. And of course, as human, malapit yung loob natin diyan. Siyempre maaantig tayo, etc. at mauhook tayo because we also have our loved ones in real life that we care about, right? So pag napapanood natin yan, nakaka-relate tayo. Tell me, ha, paano ako makaka-relate sa makaka-relate sa gagamboy mo? Di ba? Diyos ko po. Yun lang ah, um, sir, I know uh, medyo malapit na talaga, nadudum na talaga ang, ang Philippine cinema and especially TV. And not because of, of K-drama. K-drama's been there ever since. Alright? Even though, even on Philippine TV na ABS-CBN, Jemmy, puro K-drama yun eh. Madudum kayo because of quality. Alright? Not K-drama. Madudum kayo because Filipino quality are just not on par with what K-drama and other series Money Heist can offer us. Come on. If you can offer us something like Money Heist and Better, by all means, makapanaluna mo kami ulit. But until then, manood ka lang din ng K-drama. Baka may mga matutunan ka pa. Okay? Yun lang guys, mabilis na rant lang sa ngayon ha. Marami marami salamat sa panonood. Just click on like if you like this video. Comment down below if you have any thoughts. What are your thoughts guys about sa sinabi ni Eric Mati? Pakipun- pakilagay nga sa comment. Gusto ko mabasa kung agree ba kayo sa sinabi niya o hindi. Just put down the comments down below. Subscribe on this channel if you're not subscribed yet. Marami akong ginagawang video uh, reviews ng mga Netflix shows and such. And uh, also, pod form by Glentos are available on this uh, channel. So just go ahead and click on subscribe. But thanks so much for watching and stay safe, stay at home. See you on the next one.